Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I started a second round of ginger plants this past summer using healthy organic ginger roots with multiple budding eyes on the actual ginger roots, which I purchased from a health food grocery store and planted them in rich organic soil. Because ginger plants do take 10 months to mature, these plants had to be brought indoors to overwinter. So I have one, two, three, four ginger plants that I actually started outdoors during the past summer months. And again, because it takes 10 months for ginger plants to mature, they had to be winter, they had to be over winter indoors. Again, I'm in zone 5B. When ginger plants, when you're growing ginger plants indoors, they do prefer filter light through a south facing window. My windows are north facing, so they're already getting filter sunlight and they seem to like it and, and they are doing well. Now, ginger plants don't, don't need anything particularly strong and indoor light is plenty to keep them healthy. So, and so as long as they're kept warm, they're in a really desirable uh, environment for them to grow indoors. Now keep in mind, ginger, they are a tropical plant. And their natural environment, in their natural environment, all they need is filter sunlight, warm and humid weather, and rich moist soil. They do require high humidity to thrive and produce enough rhizome or roots. Therefore, I am mimicking these conditions inside my house. I am using a humidifier, and this particular humidifier is an Objecto floor level humidifier. And I have this particular humidifier on a low level mist setting with a mist production of 5.6 pints for approximately 28 hours. Check out my video above on the unboxing of this Objecto floor model humidifier. The beauty of this particular model is that it is putting out a low level mist and I'm able to provide humidity for my ginger plants for 24 hours up to 28 hours so over a day and because they are being the environment I'm providing low uh, lighting, low filter lighting, and uh, a moist environment, it's going to allow them to overwinter very well indoors until I can uh, take them back outdoors or until they mature. If you do not have a humidifier, you can place your container in a tray or saucer filled with pebbles and a little water in the bottom. So as you can see, I have done this one the same way. This particular one is in a pebble tray with just a little water. The water will continue evaporating, adding moisture to the air around the plants. I have my ginger plants in containers with good drainage uh, holes. That is giving them significant space to grow and spread. So as you can see, this ginger plant is actually spreading this way. So it started here, you can see the smaller ones coming up. This one had to be transplanted. And unfortunately, this one's going through a transplant shop and I had to cut this one down, but it's actually spreading this way. And you can see that this one's also spreading this way. So you do wanna make sure that you do have them in a good size container with good drainage holes to give them significant space to grow and spread. When watering, make sure the soil is moist. Soil should be damp to touch, but not soaking wet, no, excuse me, not soaking wet. During periods of heavy leaf production and growth, you can feed monthly with the balanced all-purpose organic 
liquid fertilizer. Ginger plants can grow two to three feet tall. So as you can see, this one in particular is about two feet tall. So this one's probably gonna be maturing very quickly before I can even put it outside. So I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like this second go around and how much um, ginger harvest I would be getting. These were started late in the season and this particular one was growing outdoors in a beer barrel. And I did have ginger um, producing, but I felt it was too early to harvest it. So I just transplanted it in this container. And again, I'm over rendering and as you can see, it's moving this way. So they are, uh, they can grow up to two to three feet tall. This one's probably a little over a foot. I'm expecting this to get about three feet tall. And this one looks like it's going to get about three feet tall very, very shortly. Um, hopefully in another three to six months, I should be harvesting this one and I should be also harvesting this one, which was growing very, very well outside. So I just wanted to take you along and show you how my ginger plants are overwintering very well indoors and how I'm trying to produce the same natural environment they are in their natural habitat and having to provide some additional support by providing a humidifier and giving them that um, moist air or that human air that they like. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are growing ginger plants indoors, you're trying to overwinter them indoors, share your success, share your trial and errors. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for watching.